Hello and welcome to Nick's Allotment Diary. What can I plant in May? In this video I'll share with you what you can sow and what you can grow dependent on the weather in your area. Now we're in May it's now possible to be able to plant seeds of plants that are fairly tender. I'll be planting seeds in the greenhouse ready to go out into the allotment when all danger of frost has passed. Now we're in May I'm going to start off my climbing French beans. I don't normally start them off till the beginning of May because I can't plant them out in the area where I live until the beginning of June and it takes three or four weeks to get the plant to a size where I'm happy to plant them out. So this is a variety called Cobra. It's a green variety with smooth pods that are stringless. The seeds are a dark black and I'm going to use this modular tray which I've already put in compost to plant out the beans. I'm just going to push them down about an inch which is about two and a half centimeters one per module cover them over these have been a pretty reliable bean for me each year I've grown these and it does tend to produce quite a decent crop Stick in a label to remind me which variety is where. Another variety that I'll be growing this year is a French bean called Blue Lake. I've had success with these on previous years too, so they're uh, well worth growing, produce a decent crop, and this time the beans are a white colour. So I'll uh, plant one bean per module again. And cover them over. So those are the Blue Lake climbing French beans. Now that the beans are planted I'll just give them a little bit of water, the compost is a little bit dry, just to settle them into the compost and I'll keep them frost free in a greenhouse, don't need any heat, just need to be kept frost free for the next three to four weeks, then they'll be ready to plant out when all danger of frost has passed. Now we're in May it's also an ideal opportunity to start off all your pumpkins and squashes if you haven't already started them off in April. I'm going to be growing some butternut squashes this one's a variety called winter butterscotch I'll also be planting some of these Turks Turban squashes. They've got an unusual shape and pattern. So I'll be growing some of those this year. In addition to the squashes, at this time of the year, I also plant my courgettes or zucchini. This is a variety called Goldina. I've grown these before. They've got these striking yellow fruits and they look particularly good compared to the green ones and they taste nice too. Another plant that doesn't like the cold so I start off at this time of the year is sweet corn. You can start this off in April and sometimes I have done but I'm going to start this one off in May. It's a variety called Goldcrest. Definitely don't like the cold 
so I don't start them off too early. I'll plant them out towards the end of May when all danger of frost has passed. Other things that you can be planting at this time of the year are various types of brassicas. I'll be planting some seeds of cabbage called Primo. These are a ball headed cabbage, relatively small, ideal for making coleslaw and salads and suitable for small areas. In addition to cabbage I'll also be planting my purple sprouting broccoli seeds. These will produce plants that won't actually produce spears until early spring next year. So if you get them going now just before summer they'll grow throughout the rest of summer and autumn and be ready for you to produce these purple spears in the new year when not much else is growing. Another plant that you can be growing now are swede. They can be started off May and June. This is a variety called Marion and the plant is club root and mildew resistant. If you haven't planted any carrots yet, now is an ideal time to get any sort of carrots growing. This is a variety called Banga F1 and I believe it's a variety that's excellent in the autumn. It's got the RHS Award of Garden Merit so those sort of plants are always good and it produces roots that can be stored over winter. Other seeds that you can plant if you haven't started them off in April are cucumbers. They're ideal to get going in a warm place and then you'll be able to grow them on in a greenhouse. For a quick crop, scarlet globe radish are ideal, a popular variety and ideal to get growing at this time of the year. Also before the summer start off your spinach for baby spinach leaves. Don't leave them till too late in the summer or you can get plants that bolt and don't forget to successionally sow some salad leaves or lettuce so that you continue to get a crop throughout the season. It's time to pot on some of the tomato plants that I sowed earlier in the year. Sow these about the end of February beginning of March. A variety called San Mazzano. Roots are just starting to emerge through the holes in the bottom of the pot. So now it's time to pot this one on. You can see these seed leaves are going yellow. They're about to fall off. So you can remove those now. They've done their job. They're the first leaves that emerge when you plant the tomato seed. It's looking a little bit yellow, so it's probably running out of food. So definitely time to pot them on. I'll just give the pot a little squeeze. There you can see very good root system. You can pot these deeper than they were in the original pot is what will happen these little hairs that form on the stem will actually become roots. So pot them on into a nice deep pot. This one's a 15 centimetre pot. It's about uh, five inches across. So what we'll do now is just top up this pot with compost. Plenty compost and just give it a firm round the edges. This tomato plant will be fine in this pot for the next few weeks before they're ready to plant out in the allotment. 
in addition to the tomatoes it's also time to pot on these sweet red peppers this is a variety called king of the north i have just snipped out the top of this pepper and two new shoots are emerging there so it's becoming a more bushy plant but again the roots are starting to emerge from the holes at the bottom of the pot so ready to pot on to a larger pot. I've got this pot here just a little bit bigger you don't want to put it straight away into a very big pot they'd like to be a little bit root bound I think peppers so again an excellent root system and I'll place that in here the seed leaves have already dropped off this plant and just top up some compost round the plants just push that down so there's no air holes or pockets of air in the compost that the roots can't grow into it should be a much happier plant and then once this has been in this pot for maybe another three or four weeks I'll be able to pot them on to the final pot. I hope you found the information in this video useful. Thanks very much for joining me at Nick's Allotment. I'll see you again next time.